Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dean Harper Realtors. Well, today I'm with the community of Bell Oaks in Bulverde, Texas, because I want to show off this custom home builder that can do some semi-custom home, Journey Homes. The plan behind me is the Cordova plan. It is almost 4,000 square feet, three bedroom, three and a half bath. And let me tell you, this house is gorgeous. I can't wait to show it off. So let's go check it out. Now, I absolutely love Bell Oaks, but uh, with any custom home builder, you can build these houses anywhere in the Texas Hill Country. Journey Homes also has a model home up in Mystic Shore near Canyon Lake. So if you've got a lot, they can build on it. We have a special guest with us today, Miss Ceci Curry. Curry. Uh, she is a newer agent with Coal Banker. She is going to be starting her own YouTube channel as well, and she's Spanish speaking. So if you know someone is looking to move to the Texas area that, that doesn't habla espanol, Give her a call. Uh, I'm going to leave her link to her YouTube channel in my description box. I'm trying to help her show her ropes and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing her crushing it. Want to say hi? Hi. There you go. <laughs> Have fun with it. But uh, yeah, I absolutely love this community. Uh, we just spent like an hour talking to the builder, the owner of this company. And this is actually the house that he's built for himself. And I mentioned before, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, <clears throat> Love the Texas Hill Country area. That's why I do so many videos out here. Um, the community of Boverde, there's a bunch of lots. I'm sorry. The community of Bell Oaks, there's a bunch of secondary lots on the market right now. So if you want more information about this community, feel free to reach out to me, and I'll be happy to send a list of the lots that are on the market right now. They're all one-acre lots. All right, let's head on inside and check out this beautiful home. Now, one of the things I have noticed is like some beautiful landscaping done because the owner of the company had this house built for himself. They did go a little nutso on the landscape package, but if you had a house being built by Journey Homes, landscaping is included. All right, let's check out this door. This is a beautiful door and it is huge. Uh, it's what's called a pivot door. When you open it up, you can see it kind of pivots at a different point than regular doors. But man, does it look good when you come inside. Wow, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Remember this house is almost 4,000 square feet. This house was really built for entertaining. And uh, you see what I'm talking about, check out. That's actually a glass wall and there's a big wine bar back there. But this is your formal dining room space up front. Love the tray ceilings. I remember what it's called this time. Um, just beautiful. This room to my left can either be an office or it can be a fourth bedroom if you wanted to. Because as we get on later on, later on in the tour, you'll see a different spot for an office. But yeah, check this out. It's a little neat, little hidden walk-in closet. Super cool. I love features like that in custom homes. I mean, they can do some really cool things. <sighs> All right, let's get into this house. Um, talking to the owner, he said he has hosted parties in here before, and he had like 75 people, and they all fit in this area. They didn't even go to the game room section that I'm going to show you in a little bit later. So. If you're looking for a place to entertain, this plan is a perfect plan for you. Um, Journey Homes has two different tiers of plans. This is going to be their top tier where you're talking about 330 and up per square foot, depending on what you want to put in the house. <clears throat> but if you're trying to be a little more budget friendly, they do have plans that can build anywhere from like that 230 a square foot up to like 300. But yeah, check out this wine bar room. This is just beautiful. Uh, you got everything you want to it. Love the space and love the fact that you can close the door, keep this room climate controlled com instead of everything else. And of course, they've got some high-end appliances in it. This is an Italian brand. And uh, if you recognize this, I'm not even gonna try to say it. I tried to say it before and it was almost embarrassing, but it's a very popular Italian brand. But yeah, this island is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the owner, they, this plane comes with a little uh, fruit rinsing spot and he's like, wait, don't touch it. Don't cut into this granite because it's so beautiful or quartz. <clears throat> and I mean, it's just beautiful, the movement. But. They do have the sink over on this side 
and it's got my favorite type of sink the granite composite sink two different sizes so you definitely can put a skillet in there but love the lighting in this room lots and lots of doors in here just beautiful this does have the uh, all three of these walls door here does slide open oh that's heavy that's quite heavy let me try to get that all the way open show you off this back area well yeah this is what a lot of these lots out in bell oaks looks like a lot of them are actually pretty flat uh low taxes but man they really went nuts on this back patio it is gorgeous love the fact you got a little fireplace out here built-in sink and if you're cooking this has easy access to your kitchen area so if you need to pass things through this window you certainly can lots and lots of outdoor entertainment space out here I'm looking around Sassy's around here somewhere I just don't know where she's at all right, let's head on down this area here. And it's got a really cool game room. And like I said, when he had 75 people in here, they weren't even using this game room space. So you can put a lot of people in this almost 4,000 square foot house. Another little wet bar, built-in fridge, but I just love how you can be in this room and just got a panoramic view of everything going on. They've got more slider doors in here. So this is super cool. You can have your powder room. Sorry, I keep coughing a lot today. I need some more water. But uh, really nice designs. A little game closet, because of course we're across from the game room. And kind of guest bedroom. There's only three bedrooms in this house, but remember you could do it for four. But this room's gonna have its own little ensuite bathroom that's got all sorts of super nice finishes in it, including your little walk-in shower and that is a big shower for a guest bathroom and this room's gonna have its own walk-in closet very cool all right let's swing around to the other side of this part of the house there's Miss Sessie. I knew I'd find her eventually. Hello. She's getting the hang of it. All right, coming down this hallway, eight foot doors in this house, engineered hardwood floor, and I love the contrast with the little dark wood floor. But you do have a full bath on this side. Beautiful tile. Got the shower tub combo in here. Of course, they took the tile all the way to the top because Yes, that's what you do when you're paying this much for a house because it looks better. But nice sink and this bathroom goes into this bedroom. So really nice size bedroom with some higher up windows. One of these higher up windows that gives you the ability to put stuff still on this wall, but still have plenty of light. And another little mini walk-in closet for this bedroom. All right, let's come on out. See if I can embarrass Miss Sessie again. She's hiding. Is she actually trying to hide from me? There she is. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's going to get the hang of this, and I definitely recommend you looking for her channel because she's going to be awesome at this. Uh, I love this refrigerator. I think this is a Sub-Zero, but, man, that is a big, beautiful refrigerator. Oh, wanted to point out something else that the uh, builder slash owner pointed out. Notice there's no outlets on here. It's like, man, this quartz is so beautiful. He did not want uh, people putting coffee pots and stuff on here. There are some outlets kind of tucked up underneath there just for emergencies. But there's going to be other spots for your coffee pots. And I'll show that to you in a little bit later. Let's check out this pantry. Now this is a massive pantry. I challenge anybody watching this to fill something like this up. I know there's a couple people out there right now going challenge accepted. I can fill all of this up, including these drawers because there's lots of drawer space in here to put snacks and other goodies. 
and you even have a little extra space back here. It does have my favorite type of microwave, so of course I gotta push the button. The top access. Uh, it is a little hard to kind of bend down to see some of these buttons. Make sure I hit the close button there. But once you figure out where all the buttons are, that's really super cool. Now remember I was outside. Uh, it's a perfect place if you're cooking and you need to pass something out to your outdoor guest, you can do that. I mean, that's just super cool. How many houses does stuff like that? All right, we're coming into this, because Journey Home's using this as their office, the owner's talking to the construction manager, so I'm not gonna go in and disturb them. But this is your little mud room or a little drop space if you wanna put your backpacks and all that good stuff right there. A little more closet space over here. And the utility room. Sorry, says he's trying to duck hive and weave on me. But yeah, beautiful uh, floor tiles in here. Lots of space for your washer and dryer. Got a sink and your extra fridge. Because that big fridge just is enough sometimes, especially if you need a beer fridge and you don't want to put that beer fridge in the garage. All right. Um, normally, there would be a door right here, but because it's a model home, they've kept this door off. But this goes into your owner's suite, literal suite type thing. I mentioned there's no coffee pot spot outside. This is kind of where you're designed to put your coffee pot so you can have your coffee in your bedroom suite area. You do have a full bathroom. Now hold on to your butts because this bathroom is gorgeous. Got his and her vanities on both sides. Uh, Got room for your step down for your makeup stuff. Check out, this is what I'm talking about, a shower tub combination. This thing is massive. So you got a full soaking tub. I don't know if you can see this, but this is all one room inside there. So that is just super cool. And I don't know if I've ever seen this before, double rain head showers in here. So man, if you can't get yourself clean in this shower, you're one dirty person. All right, there's a lot of upgrades in this house and one of the big upgrades is the cabinetry in here. Uh, they really went crazy on these cabinets and it really looks great. I mean, you've got room for everything in here. You've got drawer spaces, lots of shoe rack stuff. Oop, there's something else that it even has. If you're gonna have a fancy house like this, you gotta have a little secret room. So uh, yeah, you got your little secret room just if you need to hide out from someone. There you go. Always fun to have those. But yeah, this is just a super cool closet. I actually like the paint colors in here too. But plenty of space for everything you want to have. And I mentioned earlier in the video that if you want to make this a four bedroom, well, this is where your fourth bedroom could be. Here's your little toilet. You can have this turned into a bedroom but if you don't have need for a fourth bedroom, keep that front one with the office and you can make this like a little workout room or bonus room or whatever you want to do with room. But it's super cool. So yeah, if you would have your treadmill, one of those little fancy wall workout things, you can have all that in this room and then go straight from here to your bathroom and get all fresh in the back up before even coming out of your bathroom and walking through here to your master bedroom. So this is just super cool. Oh wait, yeah, here's your, I haven't shown this part yet. But yeah, this is a whole bedroom section. There's those tray ceilings, lots of great light in here. And this bedroom, in the way he designed it, has its own little fireplace. And they wanna keep the space where you can still see the TV. So you're not looking up so much. But this spot up here, that's heat vent from the fire when they turn it on. So that's super cool. The heat's gonna vent out the sides and up top. So yeah, just a super cool bedroom setup. Love the lighting they've done. Uh, Journey Homes has been around for a very long time. They've got a wonderful reputation talking to the owner of the company. His goal is to only build like 20 to 25 homes at a time. He doesn't want to be one of these building hundreds of homes. He's done that before. He doesn't want to be doing that anymore. He wants to be able to really put his personal touch on these homes and looking at the model, that really does show true because this home is absolutely beautiful. 
So remember, they've got two different tiers that they're building these custom homes in. One of them's in that 230 to 300 range, and the other one's around 330 to 400. This is gonna definitely in that top tier lineup. All right, that's gonna wrap up tour of the Cordova plan built by Journey Homes. Absolutely beautiful homes. Remember this is almost 4,000 square feet, three bedroom, three and a half bath as it sits. It could be a four bedroom house if that's what you're looking for. Anyways, if you're looking for more information about this home, this builder, or just considering moving to the beautiful Texas Hill Country, my contact information will be in the description box. And if you wanna schedule some time with me uh, via Zoom or phone call, just click the link to my Calendly app. I'll be happy to schedule some time on your schedule. Anyways, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and as always, share these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now. <laughs> Bye.